Hi, my name is Irving Peralta, and I've been standing in this line for more than 16 years. Man, I remember it as if it was just yesterday. It was a long drive, maybe about 12, 14 hours, and we finally got to the border. As a nine-year-old, coming to the United States was my dream. I remember we got to the 20 mile uh, checkpoint, the last point uh, entering into Texas. And the officer, another officer, once again, just walked around our car and asked all of us if we were U.S. citizens. He, when he came to me, he asked me, and I lied for the second time. Six hours to finally be with my mom. I hadn't, hadn't seen her in a while. It's, it had been years uh, since she left from Mexico to the United States to, you know, to find a better job. I remember um, I came in Monday or Tuesday and I started school right away. I started school that same, that same week. I mean, my mom wasn't playing. She said, you're gonna go and you're gonna start school. And uh, man, it was tough, it was tough. It was, it was hard not knowing the language. And, and um, you know, they did have ESL classes to kind of teach you English, but man, it was tough. You know, for the longest when, when, when we got here, my, my mom was uh, working almost two jobs. We lived in the small apartment, um, you know, no heater, no, no, uh, no air condition. It was, it, it was, it was hard. And, and I would look at it and I'd be, you know, I don't want to live like this. I, I, I appreciate what my mom is doing, but I don't want to see her uh, work this hard or, or, or work so hard and not being able to, to enjoy, you know, time uh, off. And, and, and so I wanted to do something. And, and I knew that the only way that I could was to have uh, my papers in order and, and for me to, to work and, and finish my education. And, and so I strived for that. I, I wanted to finish school. I wanted to graduate. My graduation day was, was, was an experience. It, it was something awesome. Uh, the former governor, uh, George W. Bush, picked three or four schools uh, to be the keynote speaker, and one of those happened to be mine. I remember walking down the, um, uh, the platform, and, and, and you know, my name was called, and, and people cheering, and I see my mom clapping, and just, I mean, she's just excited that, uh, that, uh, that I accomplished this. I mean, she worked so hard, and she told me, you can, Miko, you, you, you are able to. Uh, you're going to, you're going to graduate, and I knew I could, and my favorite phrase, I can, I can. I mean, that dream just kind of ended the next morning. I woke up and I wonder, you know, what am I going to do next? Uh, I don't have any papers. My mom applied. She was a U.S. She is a U.S. citizen, and and um, and she put in my paperwork, and but she put it in a little bit too late. Uh, I, I didn't have the uh, my status set as a, as a resident, and i um, and I couldn't work. I couldn't go to school. Finally, my paperwork did came in, and, and, and I was excited. They were they were just asking for the receipt so that my mom can prove that. Um, that, that she paid for the fine, and, um, and that's all that we had to do. So, our, so we looked for that thing. I mean, we knew she had it. She had it in this blue little plastic bag, and, and I mean, my American dream was about to be reached. If we, we just were to take this receipt and, 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 and present it, but the night before, somebody had broken into our car and stolen the little bag where the receipt was. My dream had been shattered. I mean, once again, I had to just wait. Two or three months passed from that day and, and you know, the hope of ever, uh, you know, coming in, in, into that position to be right there again, it was just, uh, uh, I, I couldn't believe what, what happened that morning. We got the mail and uh, we opened up and, and it, was a, it was a letter, it was a letter from the INS office and inside that letter, I mean, I've been waiting for more than 10 years. I, I don't even remember the count, but uh, I mean, uh, it was just unbelievable to see that letter inside was the receipt, that it was a copy of the receipt, somebody from the office. I know it was just an angel. Uh, I mean, my mom uh, is and continues to be a woman of prayer, so I knew that that, that had, to, had a big part in, uh, that played a big part in that, and so we, we finally got to, take that receipt to the INS office and, and I just sat there uh, in that waiting room. I mean, there was thousands of people in that line and, 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 and finally, 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 I was sitting there waiting for my name to be called, for my number to be called 
and um, and and it never it never happened. I remember sitting there, oh, it was about this, just, man, I was sitting there, and everybody was already gone. I, I've been in line for more than 12 hours, and I was tired, and I had the receipt in my hand. All I do is just present and just wait for somebody to call me and interview me, and, and the process would, 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 would go from there. But I was sitting in that room, and, man, nobody called. Finally, somebody came uh, after, man, many hours of just waiting. And um, that, again, I believe that was just an angel, just came and, and asked me if, if he could help me. Man, I spilled my guts, and I told him exactly what had happened. As if it was my only friend, I just mentioned everything that, that had occurred and how I've been waiting in this whole process for years, for years, for years. And... And he went into this room and, and looked at this cabinet and looked some more. And I mean, just took some time, just go through thousands of thousands of files and finally pulled that one manila folder that had my name. From there, man, my dream was coming true. Five years went on and I was a resident. I, was, uh, I had a permit to work. I started school. Uh, I graduated from the University of U of H with a Bachelor in Literature. I became a, a teacher, uh, teaching for more than eight years now. And um, this past year, I got to celebrate and walk down another platform. And there's been more than 15, 16 years just waiting for this one moment. And um, I wasn't, my hand wasn't shaken by a governor or a principal giving me a diploma or a certificate. Uh, of, of completing something, uh, but instead it was more than that. A judge, uh, as I was walking, you know, I was looking out in the crowd, my mom there once again clapping for me. I, I walked down this platform and this judge asked if I was Irving Peralta and I said, yes, sir. And he said, congratulations, son. You're now an American citizen. Man, my dream came true. After 16 years of waiting and the long line, the long process, it had come true.